Dear friends, I will tell you today this method of soft alignment which will be faster than laser alignment without any extra cost. Just you have to need this, need this graph paper and you need uh, one plastic, this ruler, transparent plastic, this ruler like this uh, device with uh, this line drawn in it with a permanent marker. That's what you need and this graph paper and without any extra cost and it will be very easy for you to work like this. As you know this is based on reverse indicator shaft alignment method and uh, you already I have videos on YouTube which explains how uh, reverse indicator alignment is done. If you don't know this is, if you don't know this you can go through those videos but in short uh, there are two dial indicators which are fixed on the rim one dial indicator is fixed on the pump side uh, the alignment fixture is fixed on the motor side and you take the reading on the pump side which is fixed unit stationary and the readings are taken on the rim then you have uh, you have fixed that uh, the this alignment fixture on the pump side and you take the reading on the rim on the motor side this reading is called BA and this reading is called BB. You make 00 on the top. This is the total reading, this is the total reading and these readings are taken on the ring. And the distance between these two dial indicators is D1 and the distance between this first dial indicator from which you are taking reading on the pump. I will say this is the first dial indicator and this dial indicator which you are, from which you are taking reading on the motor side, I will say the second tile indicator. So both the readings are taken on the rim. So this reading is here is called BA and this reading here is called BB. So distance between these two dial indicators thimbles is called D1 and the distance between first tile indicator thimble to front support is called D2. Front support is where you are going to add or remove the shims. This is the front support. And D3 is the distance from the first dial indicator thimble to the back support. Again, these are this is the back support where you have to add or remove the shims for making an alignment. And as you know, I have explained before, this is your minus sign and this is your plus sign. This is your required axis for the motor. This is your pump axis here. It is not going to move or up down, it will stay here. If you, your reading fell below this line, uh, below this line, then this will be minus. If your reading is, if your shaft is passing above it, then your reading will be plus. If your shaft is passing above the pump shaft. Okay. And same is the case here. This is your present position of the shaft of the motor. And you have to move this shaft to this, this, this side. This is the required axis. This is the required axis. If you are taking reading here on this side and the shaft is passing below that point where you are taking the reading, then the reading is plus. If the shaft is passing on the point above this required axis and this is the point where you are taking reading, then this will be minus. So this will be minus, this will be plus, minus, plus. This, these are not going to change, these signs are not going to change. You can go through my other video, both in Hindi and English available on YouTube. Now, this, the scale is here, I have written here, on Y x-axis one scale is equal to 50 millimeter, and Y axis one scale is equal to 0.1 millimeter. So this is written here D1, D2, D3, the dimensions are here, BA is minus 80, one small division is equal to 0 0.01 millimeter, so this will become 0.8 millimeter. PB is 100, this will become 1 millimeter. You, BA divided by 2 is 0.4 millimeter, BB divided by 2 is 0.5 millimeter. So now you can draw draw the this the present position of the shaft. You divide this by 2, it becomes minus 0 0.4 millimeter. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 0.5 millimeter BB. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you can join these two points and you can draw this line. 
and then you can measure how many squares are here. These are seven squares, so it becomes 0.7 millimeters, and these are ten squares, and this become one millimeter. But for each time you will have to many times you have to repeat this. Uh, my, I mean this. You have to make this graph again and again to get better and better reading. Then it is uh, quite a difficult process to make graph every time again. Or even if you make photocopies of this without this line, you have to use papers again and again. So the best method is that you make this. There is no need to draw this line. You just make this graph and keep it in the file. And this graph will be used for for this particular uh, uh, your machine. What you will do? This line is not there. So if you know the readings, the readings you know, and you can put it here. You can. This is the point, and this is the point. So you can use this uh, this one here, and you can put it here at the required points, and you can join these two points. Uh, this is already joined. When you put it on these two points, this uh, straight uh, ruler with this line, you can come here. And you can come here and see the front side shim or the back side shim required. It is plus or minus. It is here or it is here. Wherever the points you will draw, make the points and you will join them. So this is very easily. Just you have to make make one this uh, this graphical this figure and keep it in the file. Any time you need to make alignment, just just pick this paper and this one and. Wherever are the you take the reading and wherever the points, just put this ruler, and and you will find the reading. You I think this will take only within second you can find the amount of shims required. So this is very easy method and quick method. Just you have just only one thing. Uh, once in a while you have to make this uh, graph paper for every piece of equipment in your plant, and then it's all done. And this, as you know, that's reverse indicator shaft alignment. Uh, when you apply it, it uh, it make correction for both offset misalignment and angular misalignment. And it is quite accurate. Thank you very much.